afternoon's midweek press conference leading up to our match this weekend against the LA Galaxy. Um, as a reminder, please raise your hand if you have any questions. We'll go first to Joe Schatz. Hey, Frank. Nice to see you again. Oh, how are you, buddy? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. You feeling a little bit better? Much better. Much better. Glad to hear it. Uh, curious. I, I know we had some words about this at training yesterday, but uh, I'm curious if you could maybe dive into more of your thoughts about uh, the performance we saw over the weekend. I know uh, you certainly had some feelings about the goals that were conceded by the team. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously, I think that uh, w w when you look at the game as a whole, I'm not, you know, a lot of times you look at the the result and, and and yeah, I mean, it's it's disappointing, big opportunity at home. And uh, we dropped a, a game that, you know, to a team. And I look, most games are decided in, 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 in small details and stuff like that. And I, and I, and I get that. Uh, but I think a team that really, when I look at over whole over 90 minutes, they had and the run of play, one opportunity where uh, Richie makes a big save on, on the top corner. And and uh, and then we create three or four really good opportunities. Not, you know, having said that, it's not that we were playing, you know, uh, uh, our best soccer and stuff like that. But we did create on the run of play against a really good team, three or four chances. And, you know, we should have been up uh, into that game, into the first half. Uh, if not one or two goals, we, we come out the second half. Uh, we get the, the one goal by by Mari, and uh, and then uh, you know it just seems like uh, in two or three minutes we gave up some really soft goals, uh, and it's just things that uh, uh, you know we had talked about, and uh, unfortunately uh, it just uh, you know uh, you know gave up some crucial goals at uh, at, at uh, and bad goals, I would say, in, in difficult uh, in a difficult uh, moment there when we had the lead and momentum and and to give it away really fast, uh, you know, um, was was disappointing. But more than anything, it's just you know uh, it was a huge chance at home um, to continue to gain some momentum and 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 we knew how important this home matches uh are now towards the end of the season and uh you know we let like we kind of feel we let one uh, slip away and uh, now we just have to regroup and uh you know find uh go on the road and in, in, in difficult places it's not just this one and, and and pick up points on the road thank you frank next we'll go to hernan espinoza frank uh good afternoon uh the fiera deportiva uh, a few uh, months ago, I think Captain Rafael Shijo say, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Gaston Jimenez, Gaston Jimenez say that uh, sometimes it's not uh, good to change uh, what you have uh, in terms of uh, an actual 11, a team that you put in the field. But of course, there's a red, uh, red cards or, or yellow cards or even uh, uh, there's uh, injuries from players. So... I want to mm -hmm. know your opinion about, uh, you know, uh, putting the the actual team that's been working out for you and making some points with you in the field. Thank you. If if I made changes into this game, I, I couldn't understand. <clears throat> Hernan, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Yeah, I think, I think when you you know when when you know you have a team that that that's playing well and winning, uh, I feel like I think continuity uh, is important. Uh, if that's what you mean, but I mean, obviously, like what you kind of answered that question because things do happen with yellow cards, with injuries that are unexpected, and uh, you know we always rely on the team. Uh, so uh, I, I feel when you know if there's moments where we have uh, you know playing home games Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, and stuff like that, and you know we don't, there's no travel, there's no injuries, there's no yellow cards. I think it's always important to. Uh, 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 continuity to 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 occur. Uh, if the team is playing uh, well, but then, like you said, I think there's always things that happen that uh, you know that uh, you have to make adjustments, whether it's injuries, yellow cards, um, and uh, you know, and then also the form of the players, and and then the opponent. You know, uh, I think those are all key questions that we look at before we make uh, you know final decisions. Well, next we'll go to Miguel from ChicagoFireFC.com. 
Hey, Frank, how you doing? Good. Good, Miguel. So Chicago hasn't traveled to face L.A. in several years, and they also haven't won in L.A. since 2010. So how can a team use this as motivation to bounce back after the result over the weekend? Yeah, we always talked about setbacks and how you deal with them as a team. Uh, and I think that this uh, team and club has uh, has shown a lot of character in the past, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, I had no no doubt that... Uh, you know we're we're traveling to 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 LA, uh, and uh, I think that the guys will be ready to go and uh, understand that uh, really the margin of error uh, with the amount of games that are, that, that left is is very thin, and uh, we all know that uh, you know dropping points at home we have to you know uh, try to get those points back and uh, on the road, and uh, this is the next opponent. We're focused on LA and guys will be ready to go and I think it's all about character and 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 obviously uh they're responding well after uh you know a setback that's going to happen throughout the year and uh you know I think we've stayed even keel we continue to focus on the process and the work at place and preparing the players in the right way and like like I've always said I think as a player that's what uh you know gives the players confidence on the field and in your eyes, what does the team have to do when they travel to LA to be successful in this fixture? Yeah, score goals and don't concede any. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next, we'll go to Marcelo Balboa. Hello? You're on, Marcelo. What's up, brother? How are you? I'm good, man. Are you doing this match? I am, my friend. I am. It's a little we're bit of a surprise. I didn't know you were going to be on. Well, you know, I had to come home to do one of your games, bro. You know, that's good. <laughs> well, you're good. I mean, look, this might be your home. It's not my home. It was it's my home cold for us, but yeah. <laughs> at hey, least just I'm looking at to your home. Hey, you know what? I look forward to seeing you, my friend. And I, I wish I could be invited at your parents' barbecue, man. I see that on you, Facebook. You and know, I give them big hugs. Come, you, give them big hugs, too. You come in early, we'll bring you over, brother. I will, man. I will. Thanks, buddy. Hey, really quick, um, coming to L.A., knowing that they've got a new few bodies, first game since uh, since League Cup's over, what are you expecting with the changes and the attitude of a team that just brought in some new reinforcements? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, I'm sure that those guys are going to uh, be looking for an opportunity to impress. Uh, you know, that's for sure. Um, you know, we, we know that, uh, you know, they, they have, you know, quality players on, on the field, but, you know, it's always interesting to see how those new guys will fit in and, you know, what they, they, they will bring, uh, forth to the team. And, uh, you know, I mean, we've focused a lot on, uh, their past games and, you know, some tendencies and areas where we can be effective, uh, you know, with the ball and, and, and against them. And I think uh, the most important thing, Shello, is to, you know, without the ball, to be really organized uh, defensively. And then, you know, that that structure, the organization has to be spot on, again, from us. And then, you know, especially in a, in a, in a pitch that's, it, it's, a, it's a big pitch. And I think when we do things there without the ball, we, we, we have to do everything together. When we go, we all have to go together and we all have to be on the same page. And then obviously with the ball, we did talk a lot about, you know, the, the areas where we, can look to take advantage uh, once we have the ball. Uh, and then, you know, you're on the road. I think the opportunities that that we get, and it's the same like, you know, even, you know, playing at home, the last game against Orlando, you know, we got to, you, you create chances, you got to put them in the net. And I think, you know, that's going to be even more evident on the road, you know, the chances we get. I think it's important to, to, to put the ball in the back of the net to give us confidence and then really be focused and organized and disciplined uh, and, and concentrated over 90 minutes there. Let me ask you really quick. Do I have time for one more? Yeah. Is that okay? Okay. Of course. Um, looking at the teams and looking over some of the statistics over the last month to two months, the teams that have sometimes less possession have yeah. more shots on target, more danger than a team that is in possession 60% of the time. Um, do you guys take big factor into that or is it let's worry about 40 percent let's just make sure we're aggressive when we have the ball and we push the pace forward yeah I mean I think for us I think look I think we always talk about you know certain principles that we have I mean if we once we win the ball I mean I first option for us is always can we play vertical can we play forward you know that's that's the most important thing and then I think if we're organized 
you know, when we win the ball back, I think we should always have options to, you know, to play forward right away. I think those are, those are moments. And, you know, I'm sure that every coach says the same thing where you can get a team that's a little bit disorganized in those transition moments. So that's, that's always the first thought in, in, in our minds, you know, can, can we, you know, can we get forward right away? If not, then it's just about securing the ball. You know, I think that it's important if we can't go forward, then options to go back. And then obviously, you know, look to build uh, an organized attack from the back. Uh, and then it's just, you know, again, you're playing against the Galaxy. And then it's just about like, okay, what are two or the three, three things that we've talked about and how to break them down. And, you know, the, the one thing with them is that we constantly need to have, you know, runs behind. Once we're facing forward, we definitely need to 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 get behind their back line or we need guys that can get, uh, uh, are willing to make runs uh, behind their back line. I think that's one of the things that we've stressed out a lot. But, you know, uh, I, I think, again, Cello, to answer it, I think our yeah. first thought in mind is yeah. once we win it, the first option is if look to play forward right away. If not, then it's about securing the ball and then, you know, trying to build something through an organized attack. And then, look, we have players on the field <clears throat> with Shakiri, you know, guys yeah. like Gutierrez, guys that really can – you know, out of nothing, make things happen. And uh, uh, I, I think we work a lot on, you know, on build up and, and, and patterns that you can get from point A to B. We give them ideas. Yeah. And at some point, the creativity, you know yourself, man, we've been around some special players. You, you don't want to <laughs> oh, hear yeah. that. You got to give them the freedom to express yeah. themselves in those moments. Real quick. Last night, you watched the Colorado LAFC game. LA does a nice job of pressing. Colorado at all costs is trying to play out of the back. Two balls in transition. There come the goals. Is there a point when you play away from home where that long ball over the top into your forward is is a first option instead of a second or third option? Yeah, and I think it's that still comes to you know I think certain principles of our team, and then but in the end it's shallow. It's all about decision making. You know, I yeah. mean, I think that you're playing on the road. You know, I mean, I think that we need also to be smart. You know, and invite pressure. We're still playing with a very young goalkeeper, you know. Uh, yeah. He's going to be back with Brady. And and then, you know, I think that the important thing is that, you know, you've got to really strike a good balance, you know. I think you're on the road, you know, maybe you're a little bit more direct. And then when teams do drop off, you know, look. And, and I've seen that there are moments where they really are not very aggressive in, with pressing. So, yep. Yep. you know, uh, you really have to, you know, maybe in the beginning, you know, they're going to be really high. And that's the thing we, we've talked about is that maybe being a little bit more vertical. Uh, and then and then and then once they drop off, maybe you look to play, too. So always finding the right balance. It's, it's not it's not always easy because if you say certain things, you know, you don't want guys to be exactly like. Yeah, you know, it's not like American football. I call play. It's going to be like that. No, I think that, you know, we have certain ideas but then then it's about decision making of players you know but then we have to stick true to our identity and our principles the way what we want to do with the ball cool thank you buddy i look forward to seeing you on saturday thanks cello say hi to your parents man you got it man with one final question we'll go next to callum williams hi there frank how are you doing i hope you're feeling a lot better uh, after missing the game uh, against orlando just um much better just thank you callum yeah Wonderful. Uh, just wondering uh, what you took from that Orlando game uh, and what you can now bring into it for the game against LA Galaxy. Yeah, like I said, I felt like there was a stretch where after we, we look, we had moments to put to, to, to score a couple of goals. We didn't, you know, and uh, uh, I think then we get on the board and then it's it's the focus and concentration the next five minutes, you know, goals normally follow goals. And unfortunately, you know, we didn't follow with the second one. And then, you know, we, we give up a goal with things that we walk, we worked through uh, a lot over the set pieces, even on, on, on the run of play where they play a ball, a ball back to the back post, our box defending, we get stretched out with both, both our center backs get pulled out of position. And that's always a no, no in, in, uh, in, in a low block. Uh, and uh, we didn't handle those situations. Right. And I think, you know, look, uh, the important thing is like every game is a reference point for us. We got back. You know, we had a couple clips that we needed to correct. We did that. We put that game uh, past us, and it was an opportunity, you know, for us as a team to, to, uh, you know, sometimes when you, you we, we had a couple wins and stuff like that, and, you know, maybe there's a tendency where, you know, the players, maybe they relax a little bit. I didn't think that was the case, but for me, it's always been a reminder that we haven't really done 
anything yet. This last 10, 11 games before that Orlando game are going to be the hardest that that we face, and that's going to be the same for every team. So I, I, I think that you have to limit. You have to limit. We got to stay focused and concentrated and disciplined with the with the game plan, and then really be focused over ninety minutes. You can't take, you know, one second off because now, uh, you know, everything just means so much more. You're running out of games and time, and and even points. So, you know, uh, we got to find a way to pick up uh, those points somewhere on the road. Uh, just um, one more for me, Frank, if you don't mind. Just quickly, obviously, Kai Kamara is on the cusp of Major League Soccer history. I think it would be quite fitting if he were to, at the very least, tie that record at LA Galaxy, given his connections to the football club. He was saying to me before that he used to go and watch LA Galaxy as a kid. He even worked in the operations department uh, at the stadium. Um, is that something you're speaking to him about regularly, that the record? Is that on his mindset? No, because I think we, he, look, I think that we know it's there. And I think, uh, I think if Kai, you know, when he's on the field and, you know, uh, we have guys that I think that we need to play to his strengths, obviously, and his strengths when he's in the box and, you know, and we can get quality crosses in there. I mean, you know, he's still uh, incredible to beat in the air. And I think maybe this game is one of the games where, you know, when I've looked at the Galaxy and I think it's a team that they they've, really had at moments difficult times dealing with a lot of crosses box defending and mm -hmm. at times uh it has been a question mark you know so you know a game like this can can play well but you know he's also got to put himself in the right spot because we have guys that can deliver uh those passes to him wonderful frank thank you so much thanks coach thank you everyone we'll be back shortly with midfielder brian gutierrez thank you And as always, for the time, good to see you. Uh, question for you to start. After the last match, uh, CJ Brown uh, made the point in our post-match presser to challenge the club to be willing to throw themselves more at the ball, both offensively, dis defensively, to attack more aggressively, to do, I think, what we could all call more of those old-school soccer things. I talked to Rafa about it yesterday. He kind of echoed those sentiments. I'm curious how you feel about the team's need to maybe do that going forward and how you can do that as an attacking player as well. 
No, yeah, I totally agree with that. I mean, there's certain instances in the game where you you have to throw your your body in the line to give it all for your for your team, and I think the that's what he's trying to get to us that we need in some instances in the game we need to just take it for the team and uh, try to do our best do the dirty work as as he as he's trying to show us. And if I may, then uh, looking to this game, you were seven the last time the Fire defeated LA Galaxy. Uh, a couple guys who started in that match were Patrick Niarco, CJ Brown, Greg Berhalter, and Landon Donovan. I'm curious if those discussions come up in the locker room, if there's a, a, a pressure for you guys to perform and kind of break that streak uh, for two very you know historic clubs in Major League Soccer. Yeah, obviously, I did not know that. That was seven years old <laughs> since we last won. But, yeah, I mean, that's, like you said, it's a historic team, LA Galaxy, and we're also a, a team that uh, have history. And, yeah, obviously, you. it's my first time playing at uh, StubHub or, yeah. yeah. StubHub, uh, whatever it is these days. At Dignity, Dignity Sports, my bad. <laughs> and, yeah, it's my first time playing there, so um, I'm totally... Um, I'm really excited for that game because it's my first time in Los Angeles playing against the Galaxy. Wonderful. Thanks, Brian. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Hernan Espinoza. Hey, uh, Guti, how are you today? Good, good. And you? Good. Uh, how's the team training during these uh, weather conditions? Are you guys training inside? Uh, or how you been doing with the uh, weather uh, these two days? Yeah, no, we've we've been training outside. Uh, I felt oh, we've been shorting the practice, but we're we're still uh, giving it our all. Yeah, but it's it's a shorter practice. Uh, my other question uh, comes with this uh, new player, uh, Doumbia. How are you uh, guys uh, uh, involved with him in the game, and how you see him getting to the club? I think this is second or third game with the fire and how you intro introduce him and put him to the to the team no yeah he's a really good really good player really good person also he's uh he's, he's always like energetic and have joy in the locker room so you like that you see that and, and, it, and it gives you uh, good good vibes to the whole team and yeah i think he's adapted adapted well to the team and it's he's showing great great uh it's a great addition for the team uh, but your expectation for uh for this uh this game Saturday and this LA Galaxy. Excuse me, say it again. What are your expectations for this Saturday game? I just want to know. My last question. No, well, obviously it's to to get the three points back home. That's what that's our mission. That's what we 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 go and play every day and every game is to get the three points. Next, we'll go to Callum Williams. Hi there, Brian. Thanks very much for the time. Really appreciate it. Um, obviously, Chicago Fire have got three away wins this year at Miami, Portland and Kansas City. What can the group take from those games into this game against the Galaxy this coming weekend? No, I think that um, I, I think in this league, anybody could be anybody at any given day. That's what we, we've shown and what, what we could do. And I think uh, the team is out there to put our best performance and to take the three three points back home to Chicago. Over the last year or so in, in, in your time in the first team, what have you learned the most? What part of your game do you feel has developed the most? Yeah, I think I've I adapted well. Um, I think the the transition phases I've, because uh, uh, this league is a lot about transition phases. Uh, I think it's where pe uh, a lot of teams strive and where a lot of teams give up give up goals and points. So, yeah, I think uh, that's one phase that that's helped me throughout the year. Just finally, Brian, um, what what would it mean to the group to, to get a victory at LA Galaxy, given the, the standings at the moment? How significant of a message would it be, given the, the moment of the season that we're in? No, yeah, it's uh, I think if we get these three points, it's going to be a big message to us, give a big boost of confidence, because we still have 10 games left. And I think these 10 games, we have to get as much points as we need and try to try uh, get the playoff spot, uh, which is our goal as a team. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Liz Jimenez. 
Hello, Brian. Hello. How are you? Liz Jimenez from La Ley 107.9 FM. Can we do this in Spanish? Yes. Gracias. Me encanta. Me encanta que seas bilingüe. Eso siempre se agradece. No, sí. Platícanos eh, del momento crucial que están viviendo en esta temporada. Ustedes están pues en esa eh, posición noveno lugar de su este, conferencia, obviamente tratando de llegar a esos playoffs, van de visita, enfrentan al LA Galaxy que no está pasando su mejor momento, son el lugar 13 de su, eh, de su conferencia y qué importante para ustedes será estar concentrados al 100% para poder sumar de tres en esta visita, que muchas veces para ustedes les ha sido quizás más fácil sacar puntos de visitantes que de locales. ¿Qué piensas? No, sí, como tú dijiste, es un partido muy importante para nosotros en, en la temporada porque faltan 10 juegos en la temporada y tenemos que sacar lo, los, puntos, los puntos máximos para llegar a los playoffs y yo sí, tenemos que andar enfocados 100% y uh, a ir uh, en grupo, o sea, jugar bien y sacar los tres puntos para, para Chicago. Oye, ¿qué les dice el coach Frank sobre esto, de cómo estar enfocados los 90 minutos? Porque ha pasado que de repente empiezan muy bien y en la recta final hay alguna distracción y entonces ahí es donde quizás se puede perder algún punto para ustedes. ¿Cómo estar enfocados? ¿Qué les dice el coach Frank? No, sí, es, es, es comunicar con, con nuestros uh, compañeros, co comunicar y uh, hacer todo lo máximo para sacar los tres puntos, como dijo el profe Frank. Y es, es, es la meta para nosotros que, como tú dijiste, uh, salimos bien y luego nos anotan uh, tarde, pues y, y tenemos que mejorar eso y enfocarnos en, en eso y poder sacar los tres puntos para casa. Gracias, Brian. Suerte. Gracias. And next we'll go to Miguel from ChicagoFireFC.com. Hey, Brian, how you doing? Good, good. I'm curious, you know, how has your relationship with Shaq grown over the two years that he's been here? And then also, how do you feel you've progressed in your career as you've been playing on the left side instead of down the middle on the pitch? No, yeah, I think uh, throughout the years we've been, it's been a, it's been a, yeah, it's been, he's been good with, uh, with, with his teammates. And I think he's, we've, he's given good information and good advice to me and, you know, sort of pick up those spots in the field and try to get those spaces where he, he could give you the ball. And obviously, like you said, um, uh, I've been uh, trying to adapt as much as possible playing on the left as I've been playing in the middle throughout um, the season. And yeah, I think I've developed well and I still need to still need to grow and still, still need to have more room for to improve and stuff like that. Thank you. And with one final question, we'll go back to Joe Schatz. Yeah, sorry, Brian, got to bother you for one more. Appreciate the time. Uh, Miguel did ask on this, and I'm curious, you're at uh, around the same amount of minutes you've been at as a career high with last year. I'm curious how you feel your body's doing at this point of the year and uh, how you feel, like, are, are you positive about how that feeling is going forward? You know, it's not easy to add minutes as you're going every year. So I'm curious how that's been given you're at the 20 start mark and right around that 1700 minute mark. No, yeah, I think I, my body's adapted really well. I've, I think I've grown as a, as a person. And I think, yeah, I, I think I've, I've been doing really good with, I've been uh, closing out nine, 90 minute games for, for quite a while right now in this season. And no, I've, I've been, my body feels good and yeah, I, I, I feel 100%. Wonderful. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Thanks, Guti. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.